Hello, I want to show you about a new free plugin for Merch by Amazon called Productor, and I think it's a real must have. Now, Productor does the job of about three other plugins that I could mention that aren't free, that are premium. Furthermore, the developer tells me he has no plans to make this plugin premium, so it will always be free. And I'm going to tell you all of the things I think it does really well and why I'll be using it from now on with my Merch by Amazon business. Just to show you a few of the things the plugin can do for you. Here is your merch history, all the products you've sold in these bars here, the number of products sold, and we have in this line the profit, and you see it's divided between US, GB, and Germany. And down here you have all the products that you've sold, and you can order them in the number they've sold, and download the CSV, and just have a look what you've done right, what is working for you, can be very helpful. The other thing you see on this top tab here after you've loaded the plugin is Product or Manage. It can take a while to load these pages, but once they are loaded, it gives you an amazing amount of information. Of course, you've got all your sales stats here, the number of reviews, the number of sales and down here is your complete database of all your products that you can order on a number of different columns so you can have a look at all the products that haven't sold if you wanted to delete them you can order your products by price or by again number of sales or by date created and here you have a number of quick buttons that are extremely useful you can relist products that have been removed. You can create hoodies and pop socket images. I'll come to that later. You can download the PNG is for the design. And here you can copy the product to clipboard. And I will do that with the standard shirt here. because That is something I find very useful. So I've copied that to clipboard and now I'm going to go through the create process and how the whole process of creating a new product and products in Merch by Amazon is helped by the Productor plugin. So I'll go into create. Now something I've been finding hugely helpful recently is this save publish settings. This is a button added by Merch by Amazon itself just recently, but you can save all the colors, the products, the prices and text here with that button that's very helpful but as i said just a few seconds previously i copied one of the products that i had in my database so i'm now going to paste that and i get all the text for the bullet points the brand and the design title and it's going to be very easy for me now to edit that and apply it to a new design that is in a similar niche so I'm just going to go up here and upload the artwork. I've just uploaded the PNG and I'm checking every box here. I don't usually do that because I'm a little bit short of slots, but this is just to show you everything that you can do with Productor. Usually I would have used the Merch by Amazon Save Publish Settings to have copied all these colors, but Productor gives you the ability to select all colors, which is very handy, and then you can just unselect the ones you don't want to get it down to 10. And I'm gonna put that price down as well. So I'm gonna copy those colors with Productor. I really usually wouldn't have to do this because I would have copied these colors with the Save Publish Settings button. With these products, you can just select all the colors. So, and now we come to the pullover hoodie, and I haven't got the PNG for that, but of course, Productor has that covered. We can click here to convert to hoodie size. One thing about Productor is it doesn't really give you a choice of the crop. You do have that functionality with Merch Wizard, which I like, but let's have a look how it did with the hoodie. So I'm just uploading that new hoodie PNG and while I'm about it, let's do the pop socket. And while we're waiting for that, we might as well do the colors. And there it is. It looks pretty good to me. And let's do the zip hoodie. And finally, the pop socket is default onto black background, which is fine for this product. Another thing to say here is 
with this button you can clean the listing of product types so if you've said t-shirt or hoodie in text that you copied from the database you just click that button and it will change it into a generic word remember these days we don't want to say the name of the product in the multi uploader and that's because amazon append the name of the product to the end of your design title so just give me a second and I will change this text to be more perfectly aligned with this particular product. More to tell you about what Productor can do for you at this stage. We can do a copyright check using TM Hunt and seeing if any of the words or groups of words you think might be trademarked. Of course, you should have more detailed searches if you're worried about infringing on someone's trademark or copyright but I'm kind of happy with this as I've already uploaded something similar to it. And this button here, use bullet points extended, will populate the description with your bullet points as well as at the end, the product name and the brand name. Last thing to do is to copy all that, go into the German, paste it and click on the translate from English to German button and that will give you your German translation. Now one thing that always happens here, review button is grayed out and that is because the German translation has gone over the number of characters and you can see that because some of them have zero characters remaining. So when that's the case we just delete some German words that we don't know the meaning of or the whole sentence. Point is that now we can click the review button and we are ready to submit and along the top here you have your settings and it's a good idea to look at this i don't get it to show my expiring products or warn me of products that are about to expire because i'm not really bothered about that i do use the auto login feature another thing you can do is add another default to your settings i've not used these as i use the amazon save publish settings button that I was talking about earlier and there are English to German so you can translate in various ways so there's quite a lot there in the settings here is very important research on Amazon pages and I'll show you what that is I have it set to yes and that's because it does a better job than DS Amazon quick view extension which shows you the BSR of every product on a product page uh, which is really handy but Productor shows you a whole lot more it gives you an estimated sales I guess that's a monthly sale estimation and the date it was added it also has focus keywords and if you click this button it shows you other index keywords from Amazon which could be handy with keyword research another thing to say at the top here even better you can click on the rank and then it will sort all the results in order of rank which is similar to what Merch Informer can do for you. Shows you a good overview about the potential of a particular niche so you can immediately see the top 10 or 15 BSRs and uh, make a conclusion as to whether that is competitive or not. In the case of this particular search I would say it is it does take a lot of CPU and it make your computer work a little slowly and if that's the case if you find your computer sticking then just go to chrome colon forward slash forward slash extensions and you can deactivate the plugin momentarily there and activate it for when you need it. I hope you enjoyed that video about Productor, the free Chrome extension for Merch by Amazon. I think you'll agree that that will help your Merch by Amazon business. It's free now and I believe it will be free for some time to come. The link is below in the description for this video. Please like the video or subscribe to my channel. And also below this video, I will include links to my two courses. One is a beginner course for Merch by Amazon, and the other one is Photoshop and Illustrator design course for Merch by Amazon. My name is Rob Cubbon. I'll see you in another video.